What's up, you all? Welcome. I'm Kyle Michael, and this is going to be a, a special video on a thought. Um, and I, I got this from reading. I can't remember exactly where I read it or heard it, um, but uh, either way, I heard this said, and and it stood out, and I and I wrote it down, and um, and I wanted to kind of think about that thought on a deeper level, and I'm going to kind of go through the process here in this video. And um, hopefully some really cool thoughts come from it. <laughs> but either way, so the uh, thought that was presented, and hopefully I can refine where I heard it, but either way, it was envy is the enemy of creativity. Envy is the enemy of creativity. When I heard that, I was like, wow. In life, there are certain emotions that can impact us. And jealousy is absolutely an emotion. And at times, maybe the jealousy, you know, in certain ways is different than envy, obviously. You know, jealousy usually uh, is more in alignment with, like, relationship. You can get jealous. Or envy is, is um, maybe kind of has some of that same energy, but usually is applied in a different way. So we're going to focus on envy. But either way, envy comes about when one person sees someone else doing something or sees that someone has something that they themselves do not have. And envy is that negative feeling behind it. Like, look at them, why did they have it? And what's behind it is is I should have it. And if I don't have it, I don't want anyone else to have it. Because by them having it, it makes, it would make me or you know, and that, per that person have to question themselves, what about me is getting in the way. What about me? Why don't I have it? Where am I f faulty? Because I want what they have. They have it. I don't have it. So the, the wrongness must be on me. What is that? Now that's the, that's actually what's going on. But you see, envy is very deceptive because the thought that I just said it's hard for someone to admit because then they would have to actually take responsibility because if you feel envious, well, there is a reason why you don't have it. And there's a reason why they don't have it. Now, could be a legitimate reason, good reason, bad reason, who knows what the reason is, but there is a reason. But I'm not worried about the reason why they don't have it because they have it. And that bothers you. What I'd be more concerned about is why does it bother you that someone else has something that you would like? And where envy is the enemy of creativity comes into play is because while you're sitting there being envious and negative towards them, that time that you're spending doing that, dwelling that, focusing your attention on that, is time wasted. Because what you should instead do, instead of being envious, is think, hmm, they have that. They're doing that. I'd like that. I wonder how they did that. How 
can I use my creativity to create that for myself? It's really cool that they did that. It's really cool that they have that. I'd like to have that. How can I get that? Hmm. That's a very different way of looking at it, right? The person, they still have it. The other person, right, they still got it. Great. But you see, there's are two ways of looking at it. Now, here's the thing. Envy is easy. It's easy to envy. What you do when you are being envious, usually you are putting yourself in a victim role in that you're envious of them. You want what they have. Usually you tend to think negatively about the person. Oh, they just, you know, they did this for, they, they, they lied, they cheated, they, 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 they did whatever they did. You know, the, usually people that are envious don't give, don't allow the person that has something to uh, give them any merit or, or, or give them any credit for getting it, you know, because cause that wouldn't really go in line with envy. So usually they, you know, do that. And then they look at themselves and they think about the reasons why they don't have it. And of course they have many reasons why they don't have it. Nothing having to do with them. <laughs> right? It's that situation, that past thing, this person, that boss, that per that, that, that whatever, whatever. You don't got it. Right? But you want it. So what are you going to do? And I'm speaking to you figuratively, to this person uh, that is going to exemplify the envious. Um, so what are you going to do? Are you going to stay negative and envious? Or are you going to figure out how to create? Create. Create what it is that is going to be necessary to gain the thing that you desire. But you see, while you're being negative, it's going to be incredibly hard for you to be creative. Because creation is positive. Creation and of course I'm talking about positive creation because I guess it is possible to create negative things as well. But uh, we're thinking about positivity, okay? So that's the place we're coming from. So in uh, how we're speaking about it, the thing that you're going to create is going to come from a positive place, especially if it's the thing that you want because I imagine the thing that you're envious of is something that's going to be positive for you in your life. So we can just put it there, right? Because I can't imagine you'd be envious of somebody that's going through something negative unless you have maybe a disorder. So clearly that's a positive thing that you want. So you're going to want to come from a positive place of creation. And so as long as you're envious, it's going to block you from being in the place of creation. And listen, it's okay. That's one thing I would like to put out. You know, I do a lot of these videos and, and, and at times, you know, I, I, I can speak from a place, but... Uh, of kind of, uh, of sounding like it's lecturing in, in a way, yes. But the thing is, is that I also come from a place of I've been there, which is why I'm passionate about it, right? I'm not going to say I've never felt envy. It happens. And especially as you go through life, if you haven't thought about it this way, then, then, then you haven't been able to catch it and you haven't been, aren't able to apply certain things. So... I think as we go through the journey and as we grow, it's a part of growing. So, you know, in that more childlike mind, envy is able to come. And so you have to be able to come from the place of realizing, okay, you know what? Maybe I'm feeling envious right now. Let's play with that. This, this person made me feel that feeling of envy. And I almost felt a little negative towards them. Why did I do that? And is that helping me create is that helping me move forward in a positive way and, and, and create what it is that I want? Is that feeling helping me there? And why do I feel that way? 
about that person. Think about it, and it's okay. It's introspection. It's how we grow. We do not have to be perfect. That's one thing. When you watch these videos and when you think about these kind of thoughts, realize that we do not have to be perfect. But the best thing we can do is play with these thoughts and emotions that come and think about them in a way that's going to be the most positive and forward-moving uh, thing in our, our way, uh, direction. Right. So, because I, I, in my mind, I, I can, I can imagine, you know, kind of seeing this and thinking, well, you know, I'm not. Someone may be thinking, I'm, I'm not envious, but really, you never envious. You can't admit to a time that you have ever felt envy. I'm sure, 99 percent of the people watching this video have never have felt envy before in some way, shape, or form. Maybe you feel envy right now for someone at work or something like that, you know. And um, it takes being able to introspect and step back from yourself and play with the thoughts, play with the emotions. And by play, I mean coming from the place of thinking, what is this? Because we know when it's negative. But you have to step back only for a moment to be able to kind of see where that feeling is coming from but either way from that place <laughs> as I digress that simply was a, a putting out there that I wanted to basically say it's okay to have felt envy before you know, I think it's a very natural thing but that is also an immature thing, but we're on a journey to growth, and I don't care how old you are, because maturity has nothing to do with age. It has everything to do with how you're growing internally, and that's a part of the journey. So don't worry about how old you are. Just use what life has to teach you to continue to grow, you know? But either way, digressing still. Let's get back. <laughs> Hopefully that ties in well. It's okay to have felt envy, but don't stay there. Get out of there as quick as you can. And flip it around. And so if you ever feel that feeling of envy come up, try to notice it as quick as possible and say, you know what? That envy is not necessary. Actually, I think what's more correct is that I think what they, that person has or what they're doing, I think that's really cool. I'd like to have that. And if they got that thing in a way that I feel will be beneficial of me for me to learn, then let me learn, let me ask. Or let me see, let me, let me see how they did it. Now granted, sometimes people get things in ways that maybe you wouldn't want to do. And that's okay, that's them. But that's where you say, well, they got that that way, and I wouldn't necessarily go about it that way. But I'm not going to be, I'm not going to waste my time being envious because when there's envy, there's no creation. So instead, let me just focus on creating it the best way that I can. That's genuine and sincere to me. But where there's envy, creation stops. Envies the enemy of creation. So, next time you see someone who has something that you'd like to have, and if you feel that sense of envy or any kind of negativity, because envy is negative, so any negative feel, don't be mad at yourself. Catch it quick. Catch it as quick as you can. And, whoosh, no. Cool. That's cool they have that. I'd like that. Or something like that. Let's focus on how I can 
better bring that out for myself or something like that for myself. Growth. How can I grow? How can I continue to grow so I can get closer and closer to what it is that I desire? And with that, there does not need to be any envy because it's you, it's your life. This is your story. You see also, when you envy someone else, you're almost putting yourself as if they're getting, their story is impeding on your story. No, don't ever give anyone that kind of power. And that's what you're doing when you're envious. You're giving someone else your power because you're saying that their story is more, uh, has more uh, strength than your story. Because there you are negative about their story. They're not thinking about your story. You're thinking about theirs. Appreciate their story. It's a different energy there. Wow, that's cool. This is my story. Right? This is your story. So, uh, come from a place of creation. Never envy. Come from a place of creation and appreciation, right? What they say, don't, pl don't play a hate, appreciate. <laughs> That's what we used to say back in the day. I don't, know if people still, I don't know if people are still saying that, right? I'm probably dating myself. <laughs> it's okay. <laughs> Create the best you can every day. All right? All right. Go ahead and end that there. Um, if you haven't already, make sure that you uh, like this video and um, share it and leave a comment below on uh, what you came, got out of this or any thoughts or, you know, if you have a, a story or, you know, um, or what you're, what, what, something you have to offer as far as commenting. This is a philosophical channel, so feel free to philosophize. So leave a comment below and subscribe to the channel if you haven't. Hit that bell notification so you can be notified when a new video comes out. Um, also, uh, if you have any questions about hypnotherapy and uh, subconscious engineering, you can email me at kylemichael at magicminds.com. Also, if you are interested in coaching and confidence, email me and we'll work. Uh, also, I have uh, an Instagram, and that's at Magic Minds. And on there, I have a bunch of minute of motivations. Motivations in a minute that you can take advantage of. I highly recommend uh, following me there. And, um, yeah. <laughs> all right. Till next time. Make sure you all are um, continuing to keep going and keep growing and live life and love life, okay? All right, y'all.